Yo, what's up, mm, my guy? <clears throat> uh, somebody had asked me to go over my uh, talents and conduits and stats and gear. So I'm just going to be doing that today. Um, I'm going to start off with my gear first off. Um, they asked about like stat priority. Um, so mastery, is your, mastery verse is going to be like your main two stats that you want to stack up, right? Um, but not every vendor, like PvP vendor piece, is going to give you those stats. For instance, um, these shoulders that I have that give Verse Mastery, I actually got them from Plague Fall, right? And I got them off of this guy. These are where you want to get your shoulders, okay? You want these shoulders off of this guy because they're going to give you Verse Mastery, right? Um, you can do your helmet with PvP, right, versus mastery. You can do your neck versus mastery. Um, this cloak, I believe I got it from the raid. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, there it is, right? Cowed Batwing off of Stone Legion, or Legion, or whatever it is. Yeah, Stone Legion, right? Where is it? Hold on. Where do you go? Oh, is that Shriek Wing? Inside? Where's Shriek Wing? Yeah, my bad. Yeah, so you want like the, the cloak uh, for Verse Mastery, best one for um, your back piece. Chest piece, um, I can't remember where, but I don't even have the best one. But yeah, you just want to run through all these dungeons and figure out which one are gonna give you like the best stats and stuff like that. Um, when it comes to like your legendary, I use the 100% crit one with verse mastery on it. Um, these are the two weapons I use, just a knife. Uh, I have one sinful and one celestial enchant because sinful increases your damage by like, I think it's like 6% and whatnot. Um, I also have the PvP ring that gives me verse mastery with an enchant of verse. Um, I have a verse mastery ring that I got from the raid as well. I'm running the 15 agile enchant, 30 stamina, and 30 stat. There's an enchant that gives you plus movement speed. And like, I think it's either 20 stamina or 20 stat. I can't remember if it's plus 20 stat, plus movement speed, or if it's plus. 20 stamina or and plus movement speed, but I don't think that one would be too bad either. I think they're both very viable options. Um, I switch my trinkets depending on what I'm gonna do. Um, I, I always run medallion, right? But the only trinkets that I switch between would be my um, stat increase, like on use trinket, and my skulkers, right? If I'm trying to like 1v1, I can use my skulkers wing, but if I'm trying, if I'm like gonna be in a team fight, maybe or stuff like that, I typically would use my um, ferocity, my unused one, right? <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for stats. Um, I think, so some like top rated people, they have like below 40% mastery, like below 40%, and they have like the same amount of verse. I'm not too sure to be honest. Um, I'm not like any rank one pro or anything. I just like playing rogue. But I mean, I think 50% and above 20 is is viable, right? I mean, I have like as much verse mastery as I can at the moment um, until I just do some dungeons for like these boots and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's just my gear for the most part. The conduits that I run, um, I go Pelagos. And I go this one because it gives you a shit ton of mastery, right? So something I do think that is interesting though is this one <clears throat> that I might be testing. And it, you know, I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret because if it works, I think it's gonna be busted. But if it doesn't work, then don't use it. If this doesn't work, don't use it, right? So this is for just RPG, it's just letting you know. It says after using 90 damaging or healing spells and abilities, your next spell or ability summons Brawn who knocks enemies back on arrival and then attacks and heals your targets for 30 seconds. So what I was thinking is like, let's say I'm defending a node 
right? And I think if I cast Spade of Knives 89 times, like, you know, during like pre-lobby and during the lobby and stuff like that, I'll get those stacks that it's talking about, right? I'll get those stacks because I think it's like you have to have 90 stacks. So I'm just sitting here doing this like 90 times or whatever, or 89 times, right? And then let's say I'm standing, I'm standing next to the flag, which I never would be standing next to the flag stealth and I get, I get sapped, right? I trinket fan of knives, which gives me my 90th stack to summon brawn. Rogue instant blinds and starts capping. Brawn comes trucking along and just knocks it, knocks the guy on his ass, right? That's just me theory crafting about this one. Um, because if that works, I'm gonna be running this for base sitting, right? I'm gonna be running this for base sitting and I'm gonna be making sure I have 89 stacks. If it doesn't work, well, I'm just gonna have to become a ba better base sitter, right? Um, I've looked at this one and I just don't like it because you already have crit with your crit legendary. <clears throat> um, I run this one, gives me my increased mastery and whatnot. Um, you can go this route, right? But you don't get the potency conduit, which usually allows you to do more damage. And this one is like an overtime heal. Even though it heals you like more, it's an overtime heal just like your crimson so a lot of times if you guys watch me like play and whatnot and i'll be like at 20 percent health i'll use my health stone and my vial and it's like instant health right if i was to use my over 10 second health like i'd probably die a lot more than what i do right so i go this route um i was using reverberation right because it increases my echo by 65 percent but some people have been saying that it doesn't even benefit, like with all the nerfs and stuff that uh, Echoing Reprimand has been gone or has been going through. Um, some people don't even say it works, and so I've been using deeper daggers just to increase my shadow damage from like uh, Eviscerate and Shadow Strike because your Eviscerate uh, does like 50% double the damage as or not double like half the damage of your main Eviscerate for 50% shadow. So if you run that conduit, you're doing like 60% uh, more, or you're doing 60% in your eviscerates and whatnot. So I, th I think this is a viable one. <clears throat> Once I get to this one, though, I am probably going to run reverberation. Um, I haven't gotten any that seem to be uh, too good, to be honest. Um, there's an endurance conduit that uh, that's like slice and dice is active. You heal for like 25% or something like that. That one's pretty good. But what I think is even better is Cloaked in Shadows. Um, because when you go stealth, you get an absorbent uh, shield. And it absorbs 5,000 damage from dots. So like, let's say I have Moonfire, I have like Sunfire, I have like Warlock dots. I can still stealth and it won't break right away. Which is actually really important because I run like Night Stalker and whatnot. But we'll get into that in a minute. But yeah, I think... I think Cloaked in Shadows is super important, right? Um, and I go this route too because I get a lot of these uh, like materials and stuff that I send to my Enchanter who like helps me out with Enchants. Like I don't have to buy them off the Auction House and whatnot. So I, I go this route. And, and they give a lot of stuff randomly too. Way, way better than this one. Um, so yeah, so once I get down to here, I'll run Reverb. Um, I haven't looked too much into these. Um, just because it kind of seems like a long ways away <laughs> but let's see let's see um i'd actually probably go endurance and get that slice and dice one that i was talking about let me let me show you guys what slice and dice one i'm referring to because it's super good um i think it's this guy no it's lady right no this shrink it by the way i think this shrink it is gonna be good too because it increases your shadow damage just letting you know real quick is it this one no I can't remember where it's at. Um, here, let's just go here. Nimble. Recuperator, that's what it is. Yeah, so this one, <clears throat> off of the uh, Sludge Fist. Yeah, Slice and Dice heals for up to 27% your maximum health over 36 seconds. That's huge, right? So let's say you finish a fight, you're super low on HP, and you have like two more combo points or something, you just proc Slice and Dice, and then you're just healing for a shit ton. I'm um, not you know crimson like you have a lot of sustain 
So I'm actually probably going to go that route. I need to get that conduit, though, because I don't have it. Um, so, yeah. All right, moving on. Covered gear, covered uh, conduits. I'm going to talk about the talents that I decided to use. Um, so the, all of these talents are usually I never change them, right? Um, I always use a loose in this because I always typically have like a healer, right? So it's better than soothing darkness because you can just negate a lot of damage. <clears throat> but the only ones that I probably would change is Night Stalker and Subterfuge, right? Because Subterfuge, although the damage is really good for dancing and whatnot, I get caught out of stealth a lot, so I have to dance early um, so I can maintain that damage uh, for use. But if you're not trying to do a lot of damage and you want to go more of like a CC route, I would definitely consider using subterfuge because you get the three seconds and whatnot. You get the increased, th uh, you get three seconds of stealth abilities and instead of having to use a dance like right away when you break stealth. So I think subterfuge is still viable. Don't sleep on it, right? But I personally run Night Stalker for the increased damage because I mean, a lot of you guys have seen my videos. I do a fuck ton of damage, right? Um, moving on to my PVP talents. Um, I always run Smoke Bomb and Cold Blood. Cold Blood, 10%. Like, I mean, you can't pass that up. Smoke Bomb, everybody's calling for the box, baby. You know what I mean? So, the only one I might change is Shadowy Duel. And the only, and I'd change it to Maneuverability. And the only reason is because, like, let's say you're playing on Simple of Cop Mogu, and you need an orb, and you're getting slowed. Um, I would consider running this, because when you're playing that map, you don't really Shadowy Duel a lot. Right? There's just not a lot of opportunities because um, you can't duel uh, an orb carrier, stuff like that. I mean, you can lock people out, and that's still very important. But if your team lacks like movement or mobility, like, and you're going to be probably like one of the primary carries, I would definitely consider using uh, maneuverability. Um, don't ever use dagger in the dark when you're trying to hit a base, because if you run dagger in the dark, and like let's say I want to cap on this guy. Right, and I'm sitting here, he'd be getting stacks of Dagger in the Dark, and he would be able to tell that I'm there, even though he can't tell. Like, even though I'm in stealth, with that debuff of Dagger in the Dark, he would be able to tell that I'm coming, and then his team's coming, and stuff like that. Just don't run this one, man. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. <clears throat> Maybe... Nah, just don't even use it. It's not worth it. Um, but yeah, that's my talents. Um, other than that... That's uh, that's just about it. I was thinking about making a video about uh, how to smoke bomb properly, or some tips and tricks with smoke bomb, and like distracting. Like not enough rogues distract. Like I cast distract like 20 times during a game, you know. So, but yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you guys all have a safe holiday and have a good one. Bye.